guys, it's Ramina Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 215 on SO exam P. So we'll pause the video real quick and try to solve for yourself. Okay, as you guys let's just dive right in. So we know all probability has to add up to 5. So when you're evaluating this probability distribution function from 0 to 5, this has to equal 1. Okay, so assume that A is just a constant. When you take the anti-derivative, anti you go add 1 and you divide by the number. Evaluating x from 0 to 5. So that's going to be equal to 5a plus 1 over a plus 1 is equal to 1. Since anything you plug, if you plug in 0 for any number, you just get 0. So this is the final thing. If I solve for c, you get that c is equal to a plus 1 over 5a plus 1. All right. And they say for a randomly selected claim, the probability size claim is less than 3.745. So 3.75 is the upper limit and 0 is the lower limit of the same thing, same function. This is equal to 0.4871. Same thing, c x to the a plus 1 over a plus 1, evaluating x from 0 to 3.75. What is it equal to? c 3.75 a plus 1 over a plus 1 minus 0, which is 0, is equal to? 0.4871. All right, because we know C is this number right here, we can just plug that in. A plus 1, 5A plus 1 times 3.75A plus 1 over A plus 1 is equal to 0.4871. The A plus 1s cancel. So now you get 3.75A plus 1 divided by 5A plus 1 is equal to 0.4871 aka you can just factor that you can simplify it down even further like this equals 0.4871 you can do the little natural log trick so if I, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides to bring this a plus 1 down so that's natural log of 3.75 divided by 5 times a plus 1 here is equal to 0.4871 so we know a plus 1 oh natural log because we have to take the natural log for this rule to work so this is equal to natural log of 0.4871 divided by the natural log of 3.75 divided by 5 is actually just 0.75 so a is equal to natural log of 0.4871 divided by natural log of 0.75 minus 1, which is approximately equal to 1.5. All right, all right, let's look at what we're actually looking for. Probably the randomly selected claim is greater than 4, but we know this x is only valid for uh, up to 5, so the upper limit's 4 to 5 of the same function, c of x, a. So then when you evaluate it, when you d take the antiderivative in terms of x, you know this is going to be c, x, a plus 1 over a plus 1 evaluating from 4 to 5 okay so when I plug it in a plus 1 is a constant I'm just going to throw it out this is equal to 5a plus 1 minus 4a plus 1 right but we know c is to be this thing right here so when we plug it in a plus 1 over 5a plus 1 times a plus 1 here <laughs> A plus 1's cancel. And we know that A plus A is actually just 1.5, so we can just plug it in. 1.5 plus 1 minus 4, 1.5 plus 1. Alright, so this is equal to 1 over 5. Again, this one, A is 1.5, so we know this is 2.5. 5, 2.5 minus 4, 2.5. This is equal to 0 0.427566 which is approximately equal to 0.428, which is your answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!